Hi. <laughs> um, so I'm doing it again. I am on Instagram and Facebook at the same time. And I'm talking about excellence over perfection today. Um, talking about participation over perfection today. Um, so I am doing these lives every day in the run up to the start of my new program. It's my level two program, which is called Your Thing, Sure Thing. Um, hey, Holly. Yes, yeah, so I'm talking about excellence over perfection. And I'm going live every single day until we start the next round of Your Thing, Sure Thing. <laughs> Someone just rang my phone. <laughs> uh, so I'm back. Um, so I'm going live every single day until we start Your Thing, Sure Thing on the 1st of May. We are opening the site. We're going to launch the site live on the 22nd. So on Easter Monday, the cart will open. Um, the way that your thing sure thing works is that there is an, uh, three different levels. So you can do it DIY where you get to work through, um, you get to join audio recordings uh, that I did in the last round of me giving you trainings with rituals and journal prompts and processes and things to experiment and play with to take you to a place of feeling confident and strong and happy and able um, and really have fun in your life and know that your thing is a sure thing and know what your thing even is. Um, so that is the purpose of your thing, a sure thing. And the three different ways that you can do it is you can just do the audio trainings um, or you can have three one-to-one uh, -one sessions with me which are one a month over three months. It's a 12 week program. Or you can have six sessions with me where you get a session every other week. So we're doing gold, platinum and diamond uh, options on your thing, sure thing. And so if you want to hear more about the program then and you want to apply, then message me, DM me. Um, I'm only offering five spots of the one-to-one because -one that's comfy and that's what's available for me so that I can serve everyone uh, in my best way. And so that means that if you are interested in having a one-to-one -one spot in that program, then you must uh, take some action and DM me and apply sooner rather than later. But uh, I will stop talking about the program now. The reason that I am live today, hey, um, is that I wanted to talk about excellence over perfection. So what I see a lot in my people, the people that come and work with me, either in Misfits Maven or in Your Thing, Sure Thing, or even in more, so I have these three different levels that people can come work with me. The thing that I see driving so many of my people into a place of playing small and feeling stuck and not knowing, like not having the confidence, not having the self-esteem, not having the surety that they really want in the world is this perfectionism. And so I wanted to break down what perfectionism is a little bit and what the difference between choosing excellence or choosing perfectionism really is okay so what does choosing excellence over perfection look like in the day-to-day -day? and in your think sure thing we do some day-to-day -day routines and rituals really to ground into excellence really to ground into perfection uh, participation over perfection and so i wanted to just share these things so if you recognize yourself in, in these, then get in touch with me or maybe have a look at the course outline or whatever, okay? So perfectionists strive for impossible goals. They are, and, and they, you know, per perfect isn't possible. It's unobtainable, there's no such thing. So perfection, and even if they reach the level that they are striving for, they then make that wrong and make the goal bigger and further away. So perfectionists can never ever win they strive for impossible goals pursuers of excellence on the other hand enjoy meeting high standards that are within reach so they set themselves really they have high standards they want to deliver really well they care a lot and they don't make it impossible they make sure that their goals are clearly defined and reachable perfectionists value themselves by what they do and pursuers of excellence value themselves for who they are 
And this is really an internal external thing, right? Because perfectionists value themselves by what they do and how they show up in the world and whether they're being validated by other people and they feel like they need to be useful and show up and be perfect and they have this external facade that is perfect, unattainable. Whereas pursuers of excellence are choosing instead to value themselves based on who they are being in the world. Perfectionists, when they run into difficulty, they get easily overwhelmed and they give up because something's too hard, because they've made it too big, because it's unobtainable, so they give up. And actually, quite often, I see perfectionism as a form of procrastination and self-sabotage. People don't necessarily know that they're doing it, but they make things so impossible that they can just go, it's too hard and give up. I can't possibly, I'm not good. And then they make it about themselves. I'm not good enough. I can't reach this impossibly high standard that I've set for myself. So they give up. Pursuers of excellence keep going. Pursuers of excellence have got grit and determination and conviction. And they say, hey, this hasn't worked. I'm going to keep going until it does. Perfectionists allow failure to be devastating. Pursuers of excellence have an open mind, an attitude of curiosity, and see life as a playground of experience, not a right way and a wrong way. Very often, perfectionists allow the failure to be devastating because they have decided that one way is right and one way is wrong, and they're very, very clear and very, very black and white. And life isn't like that. Like Life is not black and white. There isn't a right way. Perfectionists remember mistakes and dwell on them. They use them as whips to beat themselves with. They bring them up and they relive them again and again and again in their mind. Pursuers of excellence, course correct and learn. They go, oh, I've steered off course. I want to come back to this way. They reconnect with their true north, which is themselves rather than an unobtainable uh, target outside of themselves and they course correct. Perfectionists hate criticism and yet they are the harshest critics. Pursuers of excellence are kind with their constructive criticism, with the emphasis on constructive. Perfectionists have to win in order to keep high self-esteem. Pursuers of excellence choose to feel good about themselves regardless of what's going on externally. So I would love to know whether this has landed with you, whether you can see the difference between perfectionism and excellence um, and what you're choosing. So I do. You, are you someone who considers themselves to be uh, a perfectionist and are you proud of it? And would you like to have an attitude of excellence instead? Can you see, what difference would it make to have an attitude of excellence over um, one of perfection? I'm interested to hear from you guys. Um, I'm actually going to keep it as a really, really short live today. Um, I just wanted to share those things with you, but I'd love to continue the conversation. So if you've got any feedback about the statements that I've made around the difference between excellence and perfection, I'd love to hear it and see whether there was any moments of aha, anything that you recognised in there, any wisdom that you took from it. Um, yeah, and just to say, you know, I will be continuing to go live. If you are like my Facebook page, then you will get a notification and you can follow it. I'm going live a different time every day for uh, so it's today three out of fourteen, um, but I will set it up. So just now, I'm going to go and write uh, schedule the time for tomorrow so that you can go and click on it to be notified if you'd like to be. Um, but if you follow my Facebook page, that is where you will get that information. Um, and if you are in my Facebook group, the Misfit to Maven Mastermind, my free group, um, we'll carry on the conversation in there. And so that's the best place to, if you want to be in a safe space and ask questions or to really converse about this stuff, that's the best place to come and have that conversation with us and tag me and I will answer any of the questions that you have around this stuff. 
So thank you so, so much for joining me live. Um, and if you're watching on the replay, thank you so, so much for joining me. I'd really love you to come over into the Facebook group of Tennis Fit to Know the Mastermind and continue the conversation. Um, and if you're on Instagram, you're very welcome to DM me, slide into my DMs and ask me any questions that you might have. So yeah, that is all for today. And I will see some of you tomorrow.